I'm still working on the turbo cart. Working on a double fuse holder. Double up the fuses. Got the fuse box out of a Chevy Astro van. And I cut part of it off. And I cut part of that off. And I got a couple of these fuse holders. I shortened it up. They did hold like let's see one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine of them big fuses. We only need two. So I shortened it up to just two. We have an extra to attach a ring terminal to. And then we'll get her together and mount it up on the cart. Alrighty, we got our fuse block all together here. We'll put a 40 amp fuse in the first one, or we'll put a 30 amp fuse in this first one and a 30 amp fuse in this one. They'll be connected together underneath. And then one side will go on the battery and one side will go to the battery on the positive. We got our double fuse block here together. I'm gonna mount it right on the let's see here, I'm gonna mount it right on the battery cable. We'll use this back hole right here. Got it doubled up for extra strength on both of them. Now we got the double fuse block attached to the battery positive. It's got a unsolder this connection, get this fuse holder off of here. on a ring terminal to attach to there. I'm still working on the turbo cart here. Now we've made up a double fuse holder. So now we've got two 30 amp fuses. One side is connected straight to the battery terminal. The other side's got our cable going to the solenoid. I've got our 30 amp fuse in the 24 volt circuit, 20 amp fuse in the 12 volt circuit. Our shunt's still in place. And here's our meter. On 26.4. Alrighty, let's do a test run. All up on the stand. Alrighty. in turbo. Twenty six point oh. Alrighty. Time for a road test.